Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in Exodus chapter 12, and we're looking at some of the instructions here about the Passover, verse by verse. Today, we're just going to look at verse 11. Here's what it says. Now you shall eat it in this manner, with your loins girded, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Today, in our world, everybody is so informal. They hardly want to dress up for a funeral or a wedding. But here we find a very particular instruction, only they're not to dress up. Here they're to dress like they're getting ready to go on the trip because, hey, they are. They're getting ready to go on a trip. And so they're to dress in, a, in this regular way, but they're to get their sandals on and a travel staff in their hand. And, and they're supposed to be more or less ready to go. Normally in the, in the home, normally you would take off your sandals at the door and not take them into your home. But here they're to put their shoes on when they eat. They're to have their travel staff. You don't usually have the travel staff in your home because somebody might trip over it and fall over. Uh, it's, it's, you know, you're not going to be, but here they are. Here's the instruction. It's plain. There's a lot of symbolics going on here. What's this about? God is about to deliver his people from Egypt. He's about to uh, get them delivered here in the wee hours and and the exodus is imminent to begin. So God has them dress up this way. And when, when they come back later and talk to their children about this, they'll recount how they did this ready to go on the big trip. Some of us here in the Western world today, if we were sort of copying this, uh, what would we do if we were actually observing the Passover in this way? Uh, well, I guess, I guess we would get our cell phone and, and make sure the battery's charged. We'd get our water bottle maybe and have that ready to go. We'd have our car keys and our wallet. We'd have whatever we needed because we're getting ready to go on a trip. So the people were dressed in a way to they could just look at each other and be reminded that the deliverance is near. It's imminent. We're just on the point of doing it. They, they, they were reminded and their faith was encouraged when they saw each other dressed this way. Deliverance is near at hand and this was to inspire faith in them that deliverance was ready. Finally, one other point here. We read it in the text. This is not the Passover of the Jews. This is the Lord's Passover. God is celebrating their deliverance and they are celebrating it with God. It is the Lord's Passover. God is thrilled. God has been looking forward to this day. What did Jesus say at the very end of his ministry when they had communion in the upper room, the Lord's Supper? He says, I with desire have desired to eat this with you. And that also is sort of an echo of how God must have felt here on the night as he, we approach here the night of deliverance. God just was so looking forward to getting them out of Egyptian bondage and into liberty and freedom. So it's not the Jews' Passover, it's the Lord's Passover, just like the Sabbath. The Sabbath isn't the man's Sabbath. It is, it's not the Jewish Sabbath. It's the Lord's Sabbath. It's, it's his holy day. And God has these holy things and he shares them with us. So Passover is the Lord's. He's marking his deliverance of his people. They're about ready to leave behind everything they've ever known. Almost like Abraham, who went out to a place that God hadn't really showed him fully yet where it's going to be, but in faith, Abraham went out. And these people are going to go out towards Israel. This is a pivotal moment in separation from Egypt. The obedience manifested in their visible outward preparation was symbolic of their inward preparation, their faith and willingness to obey and start their lives all over again. See you tomorrow morning.